I'm Alex with Storyline Travel. In this video, we're going to talk about cruise lines and some of the different categories that I like to put these cruise lines in. This will give you an idea of which cruise lines to look at and some of the different inclusions and exclusions that you can expect. We'll start with the contemporary category. Sometimes you might see it referred to as mass market. The four cruise lines that I will talk about in this one are Carnival Cruise Lines, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian Cruise Line, and MSC. These cruise lines tend to have the least included in their cruise fare. You will obviously get a stateroom, access to a main dining room, and access to a buffet. In addition, these ships will have standalone dining establishments as well, where you can get a pizza or a hot dog or hamburger. These cruise lines will have a collection of ships from some of the older ships that will be smaller on up to some of the largest cruise ships in the cruise industry. These cruise lines tend to focus on younger guests and newer to cruising. You will see solos cruising, friends, friend groups. You'll see partners cruising together and then younger families. These are who tend to sail on these cruise lines. Also, you'll note that the itineraries tend to be on the shorter side, anywhere from three days to around seven. Now, while there are exceptions, I am speaking to the general of each one of these. Carnival and Royal Caribbean really focus a lot on U.S. ports and you will find them sailing in many of the same areas competing directly with each other. While Carnival focuses on the fun, Royal Caribbean likes to focus on families and adventure. Norwegian Cruise Line has always been a bit of an innovator offering new items and MSC is the newest cruise line into this group. While they have fewer ships and newer ships, they do tend to be some of the bigger ones. As mentioned before, you will find that any additional amenities that you want to enjoy beyond your stateroom, your dining, and maybe scheduled entertainment will be extra. Your shore excursions are almost always extra. If you want a drinks package, that will be extra. And so you can see in the contemporary space that cruise fare just gets you started. One thing to note in this space is that both Norwegian and MSC have introduced a new concept called a ship within a ship. These are a step up from your normal cruise. For Norwegian, it's a suites only area and you do have a dedicated dining room, key card access to a private pool area, as well as a, a private lounge that's just for guests of Norwegian's Haven. With MSC's Yacht Club, it's not just suites. You can actually be a member of the Yacht Club and have an inside cabin. These two cruise lines have introduced this elevated status to give cruisers of their cruise line the chance to have a more premium experience. Speaking of premium experience, our second category of cruise lines is the premium category. In this space, you'll find Disney Cruise Line, Celebrity, Princess, and Holland America. Celebrity tends to be the one that will have some of the shorter cruises, say five or six days. Most itineraries in the premium cruise space are seven to 10 days. The premium experience is that you do get some additional touches on board the ship. Let's start with Celebrity. With Celebrity, you have access to more entertainment on board. You will tend to find your stateroom includes additional features, 
sometimes even access to a concierge team. The ships themselves tend to lead to older guests. With celebrity, you'll find it does cater to families, but they tend to be older, where the kids are maybe teenagers or young 20s. So you'll find Celebrity Cruise Line focuses more on adult experiences on board their ships. In the premium category, Celebrity also offers a ship within a ship called the Retreat. Again, offering a more luxury experience in a premium cruise line. Let's talk about Disney. In the premium space, Disney focuses on the families and on their intellectual property. If you are a Disney fan, a Disney cruise is a no-brainer. They do offer some shorter cruises in the three to five day range, but the majority of their cruises will be seven days or longer. Disney Cruise Line is a growing cruise line, and while there are only five ships now, there are several more on order, and over the next few years, we will see more Disney cruises. While they don't necessarily have a ship within a ship, they do have a concierge area for suite guests that does have access to a lounge. Disney does include a bit more with their cruise fare in that their rooms are some of the industry's biggest for inside and ocean view. Also, you can get access to sodas on their Lido deck most of the time. Another premium cruise line is Princess Cruises, nicknamed for the Love Boat TV series in which the cruise line was the star. Princess Cruises focus on couples and an older segment than Celebrity or Disney. Princess markets and sales more of a package offering for their guests with their Princess Plus and Princess Premier offering. While you can get a standard base fare, much of their offering is focused on these packages that they put together. They include gratuities, Wi-Fi, and drinks packages. Princess is also known for sailing Alaska, and they have a significant presence in Alaska with some of the best docking slips and access to glaciers and wildlife. Speaking of Alaska, Pollen America also does Alaska very well. However, their unique offering is that their ships are more mid-size. Holland America offers some of the smaller ships in the premium category where the guest size caps out at about 2,500. Holland focuses on music for their entertainment and they focus on a more sophisticated setting on their ships. You'll find large libraries and books that you can check out during your cruises. In addition to seven day sailings, Holland will focus on even longer sailings. It's not unusual to see a Holland itinerary that will be 14, 21, 56, or even over 100 day itineraries for their world cruises. So now let's take a look at the luxury class. The luxury class ships will include even more in their cruise fare. They will be a little more expensive, but you will see more inclusions. Some lines include drinks, some include gratuities with their cruise fares, and even a few will have an excursion or two included. In addition, the crew to guest ratios will tend to be higher, while the ship sizes will be a little smaller. Another thing about luxury cruises is that these cruises will tend to stay in ports longer or go to unique ports that your premium and contemporary cruise lines don't visit. These cruise lines are Azamara, Windstar, and Viking, to name a few. Each has a very unique offering, and they all tend to have something unique to serve that luxury client. Azamara is known to even stay overnight in some destinations when possible, and their ships are small enough that they can get into some of the smallest ports. 
Windstar is like yacht cruising on an ocean cruise. In fact, they have a few cruise ships that do have sails and it provides a unique experience. Viking is very educational and an adult only cruise line. So if you really need to escape the kids, consider a Viking ocean cruise. And the final category I want to touch on is the ultra luxury category. And the three cruise lines I'd like to talk about is Seaborn, Silver Sea, and Regent. The reason we classify these as ultra luxury is they offer a white glove end-to-end -end service. The crew to guest ratio gets really close to one-to-one. -one. The crew get to know you by name. In most cases, every stateroom on the ship is a suite and most items are included. Even where items are not included, you can pick a package of items and have a more inclusive experience in working with a travel agency like Storyline Travel. The idea of the ultra luxury cruise is that once your vacation starts, whether at your front door or at the airport, you don't worry about touching your luggage. You don't worry about what to order or what restaurant to eat in. And when done right, you don't even have to worry about a bill coming home with you. While they do tend to be the most expensive from an initial price standpoint, by adding in all of the inclusions you get, you'll find that an ultra luxury cruise may meet or beat the cost of a luxury or premium cruise. And the other unique item of an ultra luxury cruise is that they go to some of the most exotic destinations. So for guests that work with Storyline Travel, those are four of the categories that we use to work with you to have the vacation you want. Whether you want to dip your toe in the water of cruising on a contemporary line, you're ready to enjoy a premium experience on one of the premium lines, you're looking for that unique destination that a luxury ship offers, or you're ready to be pampered on an ultra luxury cruise, we can find the right cruise for you. These are the most common of the ocean cruises and ocean cruise lines that you'll find. There are some unique and different cruise lines coming into the market that's very exciting. In addition, new categories being created all the time as different cruises and cruise lines want to distinguish themselves. If you're interested in a couple of the ship within a ship options, check out these videos on the Haven and the retreat that we did to see just how different it is to be in these areas versus on a normal cruise ship. And at Storyline Travel, we believe every adventure is a story waiting to be told. Thank you.